Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. How was your day today? How how was your day today? You got uh, your microphone. Oh, sorry, my day was a little tighter. I said. My uh, Kathy, I'm sorry, I forgot. Where do you work? In Metapan, in a special education yes, school. Yes, you're a teacher. Yes, I remember. Yes, I'm a teacher. How is Metapan in this moment? Is it hot? Um, it's hot, I think, but I didn't go to Metapan today because I went to San Salvador. Okay, and you live in Santa Ana, correct? Yes, I live in Santa Ana. How far is Metapan from Santa Ana? It's um, four, four, 46 ki kilometers. 46 kilometers? Okay. Is there traffic? Is yes. Um, traffic. Really there, yeah, there's traffic from Santa Ana yes, to Metapan? Yes, yes, a lot because a lot of trailers. Oh, yes. Yes, it's difficult. Oh, okay. To drive to yes, it's true. But I I go early, too early. So it's, it's better. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. And you go by car or you take the bus? By car. Oh, okay. What about you, Miguel? How was your day? Um, good teacher. What did you do? Um, um today is work in house, not working in the office. Yes, I remember you said that sometimes you work at the office and sometimes you work in your house, correct? Yes, um Monday and Wednesday in office. And Tuesday and Friday. Okay. And what? Where do you prefer to work? Uh, I prefer in office because in houses, uh, very hot. Oh yeah, that's true. All right. Hello, Sara. How was your day today? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. What did um, you do? I um I wake I woke up early, then I I went to my job and I played with my co-workers and I had a a meeting with my with my boss and I took a, a lot of cases and I had a a new a new magazine for in a good magazine for me because the September twenty sixth I have a interview for another account. Oh good. Are you still in Talos? Yes, in Talos. Hey, very in Talos. good. All right, good luck. Good luck. Hello Marielos, how was your day today? Hello. I I was very busy this day. In the morning, I have a, a seminar about the electronic bill. Oh, and I just to finish another seminar about um, um, keep the um, prevent uh, laundry money laundry money laundering <laughs> yes and in the morning to 10 to 12 and in the afternoon to 6 to 8 p.m okay that's very busy but i have a good. you know yeah i have a question 
in El Salvador, which source is the biggest source to money laundering? Biggest source? Yes. Oh, I, um, I think that is uh, about the drugs. Drugs? And drugs, and I don't know. But how, how do the people... Sequestro? I, I don't know. How do you say? No, I, I, yeah, kidnapping. But how do they laundry that money? In, like, in what source? Do they use it in a private business, public business? Yes. Do they use cash yes. only or...? Yes, yes, and uh, they need to, to wash the, the cash. <laughs> yes, because uh, uh, they get get uh, cash in this operation. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Yes, yes, it's interesting, I, I, but it's, it's difficult. You know, have you seen a, a TV show called Breaking Bad? TV show? It's a TV show. It's called Breaking Bad. Mm, no, I, I I didn't see. I really recommend you to watch that. If if you like that laundry money business and everything. Okay. It's a very good show because it's this man. I He's a teacher and he's a um, scientist. And he discovers he has cancer, oh. but terminal cancer. So we, what, he's a chemist, chemist. Chemist. So yeah, so he had no money. And what he did is he started making drugs, but like this oh. really, really good drug. And he started selling the drug. And um, the, the TV show, mean he actually did it because he wanted to leave money for his family. His family did not know about the business and the show, you know, and then it's, it wasn't more about the money. It was about the power and this, but it came, it came to a point that he didn't know what to do with so much money. So he started to laundry money. It's a very good show. Watch okay. it. It's breaking bad. I suppose they, they, <clears throat> they showed so many typo typologies about uh, yes. laundry. Yes, because they deal with the carteles and everything and how, how they move the money. Okay. It's very good. Breaking Bad is... is... I, uh, on Saturday, I read in the, the news that uh, one case of uh, money laundry, the people was absolved about uh, a family, Flores Batres. Uh, I remember uh, it was many years ago. I remember that they, name. Yes, yes, it was a family, but the, the wife uh, didn't prove the, the um, delito, how do you say? The crime. The crime, okay, the crime. So she's free? Yes, they're, they're free. Oh. Like Ligia Saka, she, She's guilty, right? Yes, <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> but uh, she uh, didn't um, defend. She couldn't That's prove. Fine. She couldn't prove. Yes, in she a couldn't sense. prove. Okay. Okay. Very good. Interesting. All right. Hello. Welcome, Milton. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you today? Hey, fine. Thank you. It this day was very, very quiet. In this morning, uh, hearing a popa uh, raining. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And here, in my in my side of the city, it's raining too. In San Salvador, it's raining a little, but it's raining. Yes, a little. Okay. Mm. Today I am in terrible pain. Tomorrow I, I I will not walk. Yes. No, um, because you know, um, city hall. Do you know what is city hall? Yeah. Yes, they, the city hall. Yes. Okay. Very okay. Good, Marielos. Thank you. Does everybody know what city hall is? Mario Duran. Yes. He's. He's, he's the mayor 
And he works in the city hall. Do you understand what city hall is, class? Yes. No, I don't. No, teacher. No, explain. Oh, okay, very explain. good. But listen to the magic words. Who is Mario Duran? Oh, the mayor. Mayor, where does he work? City hall. Uh, in the city hall. Good. He works in city hall. There you go. Do you understand, Milton? No, no, teacher. Repeat, okay. please. I will give you the same example. Who is Mario Duran? Mario Duran is a, is a, a, how do you say alcalde? Mayor. Mayor, okay, is mayor of San Salvador City. Good, and where does he work? Where does he work? Where, where is his office? In, in, in Palace, a Municipal Palace? In City Hall. Oh, City Hall, okay. <laughs> All okay. right. Okay, it's good, City Hall. Okay. okay, cool, you understand, nice. Yeah, well, thank you. No, you're welcome. You see, that that's that's how you practice things. And better to see, like, Alia. You know, you, you need to work your mind a little and use like simple examples, you know? Well, okay. City Hall passed by my house today and they cut trees. And they left trunks. Do you know what trunks are? Yes. So I brought two big trunks to my house because I want to paint them and everything. But, oh man, my back and my body is, in, oh, tomorrow I will not move. <laughs> okay, <More> so <laughs> let, yeah, no, it was a terrible exercise. <laughs> yes. Well, Miguel is here, JJ is here, David is here. All right, let's start. Yes, I am here. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Remember, good night is good night is to leave. To leave. Yeah, good night is pretty much to say goodbye. Okay, so remember yesterday we we're doing a little bit of um using contrast and exceptions. Remember? Yeah. What were the magic words we're using? We're using unlike. <clears throat> Unlike and why. And while. Just real, real quick, when do we use while, Miguel? <clears throat> Sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. Uh, Miguel Angel, yes. When do we use while? Why? I use why when, when uh, two, uh, two action in even moment in the, Yes, it's, it's two action uh, uh, happened. Two action happened. In, in the same this time. Moment. Okay, good. Not in this moment, in the same time. In the, oh, same time. Yes. Because it can be the past also, remember. In line is, is when one uh, contracts two ideas, uh, sentence, opinions. It's, mm -hmm. it's in line. Yes, it's the contrast. It's not necessarily bad, it's just the contrast. Oh, yes, yes. All right, cool. Very good, class. All right, I like that. Let me see. We spoke, we listened to this lady yesterday. So let's do the knowledge check. I will start with, we have how many examples? Three. Okay, let's do this one. Or, hold on, let me check one thing. Who has not spoken today? Miguel Lara, can you do number one, please? Okay, listen, the instructions. Read the sentences and match the clause to make sentences. Okay, so Miguel Lara, can you do number one? So read the complete, ex uh, the complete sentence Read the three examples, and at the end, tell me which is the correct one. Number one, while most American lie or their own before marriage. Okay. 
Can you read the three examples, A, B, and C? Um, read. A mm -hmm. student here study here in the morning or the afternoon. Mm -hmm. B, people here don't usually, usually have more than one TV. C, people here usually lie with their parents on, until they get married. So which is the correct one? Is either C. Letter C. Thank you, Miguel Lara. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's OK. So Miguel, which is the correct one? And yes, letter C. People Why? usually lie what, with their parents until they get married. People here usually live. Live. Why is that the correct one? And because the the parents get they get married. Okay, and also because it makes sense, it has logic. Yes, that's the most important thing. Okay, so can you read it now, complete, please? The the complete example, Miguel Lara. Read, read the complete sentence. This and see. Will most while American, while. Uh, while while most American lie or their home before marriage, people here usually lie with their parents until they get married. Thank you. Live. Live. Okay. Very good. Remember what I was explaining to you yesterday to the class. You also need character. You need to, if it's possible, move your hands. You know, like while most Americans live on their own before marriage, people usually live with their parents until they get married. Okay, very good. So let's see. Miguel, can you choose somebody, please, to do number two? Okay. Choose a lady. Like the average American student. No, I'm sorry, Miguel Lara. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's okay, it's okay, thank you. Miguel Lara, <laughs> please, listen, class, listen, activate. Sorry, your... teacher. <laughs> no, it's okay. Please choose a lady for next, for number two. Uh, Sara Martinez. Oh, Sara, okay. Yes. Sarita. Um, sorry, the number, the number two. Yes, please. Sorry, but in this moment, raining in my house. <laughs> and okay. I'm getting here, here too. <laughs> but unlike the average American student, uh, letter, letter A, uh, a student here study either in the morning or the, or the afternoon. Letter B, people here don't usually uh, have more than one TV. And let us see, people here usually live with their parents until they get married. So which the, is the correct? Okay, the first is uh, letter A. A student here study either in the morning or the afternoon. Very good. Now, can you read the complete sentence, please? Okay, unlike the average American student, um, but the student here is study either in the morning or the afternoon. Very good, yes. That's similar here too in El Salvador. When you're in high school, you can study in the morning or in the afternoon, correct? Yes. I think. Can you still study in the afternoon? No, I study it in the morning all no, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm speaking in general. Can children still study in the afternoon? Yes. Or no? No, in the morning. So every, ch every child in El Salvador only studies in the morning. No more afternoon classes. Yes. Oh. No, many child, many children study no. in the afternoon. In, oh. the, in the past, yes. But nowadays, no, because the pandemic affected 
and class in the afternoon. Okay, yeah, and, okay, thank you. Yeah, that was my question. So because of the pandemic, I think all the classes are regular, right? Like in the morning? Yes. Okay, all right, cool. Sarita, can you choose the next person, please? Choose a gentleman. Okay. The next is Katya. Okay, Katya. Okay. That's a gentleman. <laughs> number, number three. <laughs> yes. In contrast to most Americans, Hey, students here study either in the morning or the afternoon. No, I'm sorry. Was, uh, I'm sorry. We finished that one. Oops. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, oops. I'm sorry. Go ahead. My fault. My fault. I, I, I thought it was number two. Okay, go ahead, okay. please. B, people here don't usually have more than one TV. C, people here usually live with their parents until they get married. And... If the correct is number B, it's, it's letter B. People, in contrast to most Americans, people here don't usually have more than one TV. Good. I, I wonder what country that is because in El Salvador, everybody has two or three TVs now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have four TVs and I don't know why. No, in my house, I have uh, one TV. <laughs> Oh, really? Yes. I have one big TV <laughs> in the living room, one in my son's room, one in the studio. Actually, the, the monitor I'm using right now is a TV. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. But it's cool, man. It's better. Watch, look. Teacher, I don't have TV. 30 years. Excuse me? I don't have a TV in my house for... 12 years. Are you, years. Very good. Well, yes. are, you, are you serious? I need, I need more communication with my wife. With marriage <laughs> is, is bad communication for TV. Okay. Is not TV, 12 years. Really? So you don't have a TV in your house? No, no TV in my house. I... Wow. What do you say, regale? Um, I gave away. I gave away. Okay. That's very interesting. So that's okay. like a rule in your house. It's a rule. No TVs in the house. Yes, it's, it's very good for relation. I imagine. I imagine. In my opinion, I think it would be very difficult for me. Oh, yes. Because for me, TV relaxes me. But you know, be, but you know, I do understand, but. Maybe before, but now I really, I, I enjoy watching TV more now than before because wow. now I have an option to watch what I want. And before it was no option, cable, it looked heavy, you know, but right now, if I want to watch a, a good documentary or a biography or anything, I can watch in YouTube and it's very interesting. All right. So, hey, but very good. That's, that's. That's that's interesting. No TV in the house. Do you have children? My <laughs> children, no TV in the house. Is... No, no, but do you have children? Yes, yes. My daughter, I uh, 40 years old, is mm -hmm. not TV in my house. This last year is I uh, watch TV. I bu I buy uh, first TV in in house in my house. Does your daughter have like a tablet or, or smartphone? Yes, yes, I, I have a smartphone because okay. I is, is controlled for your mother. <laughs> okay, it's controlled by the mother. Okay, interesting, interesting, very interesting. All right, cool. Katia, choose somebody. Let's do part two. It says introduction. Type the conjunction that is being used in each sentence. Use a capital letter, not a period, if needed. So, Katya, or class, let's do it in general. So, what is the conjunction in number one? While. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Did you hear that noise? Pew, pew, pew. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why my computer does this, you know. Uh, in the in the day when I go to work, my nephews, they go into my computer. I don't know how they have the the password, but I know because listen to this. I don't I don't understand the sounds. <laughs> what is the conjunction of number two? Unlike. 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 Like. And number three? In contrast. In contrast. In, in contrast, contrast, right? In contrast. Let's submit. Did we get them right? All right. We got them right. Okay, let's see real quick what's next. It says, in this class section, participants will be able to talk about the typical student in the class and practice the grammar lesson, as well as to learn and practice using adjectives, verbs, phrase, and phrases relating to accepting things as they are or making changes. Hmm. Let's watch the video and then we'll have a little conversation in the class about this. Typical student in the class. Hi, how typical are you? To find out, complete this profile. Then share your answers with your class. Are you typical? I have never shopped online. I eat breakfast every morning. I have a full or part-time job. I have visited a foreign country. I use public transportation. I keep a daily personal diary. Now look at these adjectives, verbs, and phrases. Put them in the right column below, then share your answers in class. Should I just go with the flow? Adjectives. Amenable. Conservative. Nonconformist. Rebellious and conventional. Verbs, accept, conform, conform to, confront, rebel, rebel against, stand up, stand up to, stand up for. Phrases, be your own person, challenge the status quo, fit in, follow the crowd, make waves. Now on your notebook, make a chart similar to this one and write the adjectives, verbs, and phrases under the right column. Hmm. And conventional. Let's start with the verb phrases. Be your own person. Let's talk about our past. Yes. Let's have a little conversation about our past. Let me see, uh, Nelsi. Okay, no problem. Thank you for letting me know. Marita, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Maritza. Maritza, Hello. I'm sorry. How old are you, if I may ask? Uh, yes, I am 49 years old. 49? Yes. 39? 40, 49. 49. Do you remember high school? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> A long time ago. Okay. According to this phrases, in high school, were you your own person? Did you challenge the status quo? Did you try to fit in? Do you know what is try to fit in? Like try to, to be accepted. Uh-huh. Follow the crowd or make waves. Uh, I think I try to fit in. Okay. What was, what did you have to do in your days, high school days to fit in? 
um, I, I was so shy and I had to learn to talk more. Okay, okay. What do you think children have to do now to fit in? Uh, maybe they have to do many, many, many crazy things because in my daughter, they, they, they tell me that they made a bet, some kind of bet to be accepted, mm -hmm. like retos. Okay. And yeah. I think it's not good. Yeah, it's not good, but it's always been like that, correct? Mm -hmm. It it was always like that. I think it's a very big pressure in in high in high school. Yes. Especially yeah. like by bullies and and to be cool and, and all that is not cool. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maritza. Let me see. Juan Jose, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Juan Jose. Hello. Look at the verbs. Okay. Do you understand all the verbs? I, 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 well, I'm sorry, before I continue with you, Juan Jose, let's do one thing in the class in general. Let's see if we understand all the adjectives, all the verbs, and all the phrases. Class, do you understand amenable? It's similar in Spanish. Yes, yes docile. <laughs> okay, amenable. docile. Conservative? Yes. It's like a similar yes. conservative. <laughs> Conservativo. Conservador. Conservador. Yeah, it was conservativo. It's correct. It's correct, but it sounds strange. Sorry. No, it's okay. Okay, conservative. Nonconformist. Nonconformista. We have rebellious. Rebelde. Unconventional, we have that, okay. Inconventional. Accept, we understand, accept. Conform to? Yes. Confront. Conform. 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 Confront. Conform. It's similar in Spanish. Conform. Conform. I'm sorry, Marielos, what did you say? Conformista. Yes. Confront. Uh -huh. Rebel, rebel, rebel. <laughs> okay, I have a question now. What is the stand up to and the stand up for? Do you understand what is a stand up to and a stand up for? No. More revoltoso. No, because they sound similar, but they're very, very different. Stand up well, in a way, they're different, but they're also similar too. Remember, have you seen uh, have you seen stories, or do you remember in your high school days the bully? Remember, there's always a bully? Bully. Yeah, okay, but there's always one person who is the bully. Do you know, remember that? Yes. Okay, um, what, bullying what happened? Is, bullying is when uh, the child uh, get, uh, no, her, has a problem with another kid or another children. And he, uh, when they, they are, oh, they, hi, but it is, everybody. Sara, remember, remember, think simple, explain simple. Yeah, I understand, I understand what you're trying to say, good. But the problem is that when you try to give a very big explanation, not, not you, Sara, in general, <laughs> When you try to give a very big explanation, you you kind of start freezing, like uh, because you're trying to find words. So it's okay. So give like a short explanation. 
Bullying is the bad boy who likes bad boy or a girl that likes to have problems with other children or make problems with other children. But going back to the bully, how do you stop a bully? Um, really, really, really. Ignoring. really. Ignoring. <laughs> how do you stop a bully? Ignore. <laughs> no, ignoring won't, doesn't work. Fight. Telling the teacher, yes, fight. Fight, um, fight uh, all, all children. Yes. <laughs> So that would be a stand up too. Nice. So, okay, so listen to this. Imagine, imagine I am a little child and I have a bully and every day the bully hits me every day, every day. And I don't want to go tomorrow to school. And my mother says, why not? Because there's a bully and he hits me every day. So my mother tells me, no, hit him back. And I say, no, mom, no, because he hits me. No, hit him back. So tomorrow I go to school and I say to the bully, okay, I won't let you. If you hit me, I hit you. That is stand up too. So tomorrow I'm going to stand up to the bully. Yes, a stand up. I think it's important is important uh speak with her parent or or uh mm -hmm. yeah is speak with her parent about the situation because in uh no I understand but no I just I was just giving an example of what is a stand up to mm -hmm. stand up to is like to confront it's another way of saying confront. Stand up to is when stand uh, up to when other person uh, stop the bullying. No, uh, who can help me? Who understands what stand up to is? It's like confront. It's confront. Yes, yes. and stand up for. Confirm yeah. Okay. Hold on. Before we do four. Situation. Yes. Before we do four, I want everybody to understand the stand up too. So does everybody understand stand up too? Confront. Okay. Stand up two. Forget a stand up four. Right now we are in stand up two. Do you understand that? Yeah, in Spanish it's like enfrentar, enfrentar. Yeah, exactly. It's your opinion. Yeah. So you stand up to a bully, you stand up to your boss. I have que son malos, right? You're stupid. Or you, you're bah. And you know, people just do this. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes husbands they they hit their wives for many years, and or vice versa. Sometimes wives hit men at sendado casos for many many years. But it comes to one day that the wife says no more. That day she stands up to her husband. That day she says, no more. If you touch me, I call the police. What? Boom. I call the police. So do you understand? Stand up too? Yes. All right. So this is an example. Imagine you come home and, you, and your wife or your husband says, imagine you come home and your husband or your wife says, oh man, I am very stressed. Why? Because my boss is a terrible person. He makes me work extra hours. He doesn't appreciate that I didn't eat lunch today because he tells me to work, work. He says I am terrible. He gets angry. He throws things, et cetera, et cetera. And I tell my wife, that's not correct. No, you can't let your boss do that. Stand up to your boss. And not necessarily fight. Stand up too is like confront and say, what is your problem? Okay, do you understand? Yes, yes. 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 Okay, so that is a stand up too. Now let's do stand up four. 
stand up for is to support something you believe in. Support. 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 Apoyar. Oh. For example, um, there's a uh, there's a big community in El Salvador that they stand up for the gay community. Yes. When I say I stand up for, it means I support. Yo apoyo. Yeah. Stand up for your rights. Su derechos. Do you understand that song? You, I'm sorry, that part. You have to stand up for your rights. ¿Qué dije? Defender sus derechos. Voy a defender los derechos. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have... To, Okay, so back to the example. Okay, like my esposa. Oh, my boss is no man. You know, you have to stand up for your right. Tomorrow, stand up to your boss and tell him you can't treat me like this. Antes se daba mucho en el país esto. Hoy ya casi no porque se ha puesto malas pilas el ministerio. Or Facebook. <laughs> Did you hear the audio? Did you hear the audio? About the Decameron? No. 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 What happened? I think it was like I think it was like three years ago. It was something like, do you know like when you go when you go to when you go to Metro Centro or something, the people from the Cameron they tell you, hi, here's a free pass to the Cameron. Here's a free pass to the Cameron. Oh, actually. They don't get paid. They get a bonification if I go to the Cameron with that ticket. Yeah, I mean, but what happened is that this poor person, he was demanding, exigendo, hey, pay me because I don't know, five or six people came. Where's my money? And the Cameron says, no. Ellos vinieron, pero they didn't bring the ticket. Uh, this, so then this person started recording the manager of the Cameron and he was saying, I don't care. I will not pay you. I prefer to pay the lawyers that money than to pay you. But he was a terrible person. He was from Colombia. Uh, and he, but they were, they recorded everything. So no les pago. Prefiero gastar o regalar ese dinero que les debo en, en and um, pero creo que perdió. <laughs> I think he lost. So in in that case, there are bad people. Okay, so we understand stand up for what else is next? Phrases: Be your own person. Challenge the status quo. What does that mean? Challenge the status quo. Uh -huh. What is the status quo? Lo que se espera que sea. Uh -huh. The I result, the expectation. You have to challenge that. Okay, we have fit in. Follow the crowd. Está en la norma. Okay. En la norma. Okay, okay. Thank you. Fit in is what um, Sara was saying. Imagine. Miguel, imagine you go to. I don't know, man. Imagine you go to Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. To work and and and. You don't like, I mean, you like Dominican Republic, but you don't have friends because all everybody in Dominican Republic, they go to discotheques and all they do is dance at reggaeton and you don't like reggaeton. Uh, no. But that, that is you versus millions and millions of Dominicans. So the only way to make friends is that you have to start listening to reggaeton to fit in. 
Fit in es encajar. Oh, the weeping. Voy karaoke, reggaeton. Yeah, you know, you have to pretend like, yeah, I like reggaeton. And why? I have to fit in. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Encajar would be the, the, the correct word. Fitting. Okay. Follow the crowd. What is follow the crowd? Do what everyone does. Where, when there are many people la that gente. follow? <laughs> Donde va toda la gente. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but actually, actually, it's an expression. Remember, follow the crowd is when you do what everybody does. Yeah. Go. 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 I have a niece, she's in high school. And I remember when she was little, she used to like to paint. She used to like to read. And she liked history a lot. And I was, yeah, that's cool. And I remember we used to watch documentaries about Van Gogh. And, you know, I explained, oh, look, that's Van Gogh. And that, that's Salvador Dali. He's my favorite painter. And now that she's in high school, she likes Bad Bunny. So I talked to her and said, Andrea, what happened? What happened? Why, why, what, you don't like art anymore? What happens? Nobody. The crowd. She's following the crowd. Yes. She's trying to fit in because yeah. the majority of people now, they prefer Reggaeton, nobody really likes mm -hmm. art. <laughs> okay, if you want to fit in, follow the crowd. <laughs> exactly. Hey, good example, Mariela. Very good. <laughs> so I tell her, Andreita, you have to be your own person. Sometimes you don't need to fit in to be cool. <laughs> but, you know, la perdimos. <laughs> All right. So let, let's do, can you give me, Miguel, Miguel Angel, give me an example using conservative because that was interesting that you don't have TV. I think I think yeah. that is a very, that is something very conservative. That's cool. Can you explain that to me? Give me a sentence about you using conservative. I, I run, no. I had a presupuestary uh, in my economy for my house. Uh, uh, the, uh, how do you say, 10% for my, for my money, pay for me. Uh, pay for, for me first for inversion in, and in future, it's not, not discutible. It's... So listen, it's not presupuestary, it's budget. Budget, oh, okay, in, in my budget, it's not discutible. Buy for me first, uh, 10 percent. Okay, uh, wait, wait, so 5% or 10% is for you? Sorry? What percentage is for you? Oh, in present is for, for percent, me, no. percent, 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 oh, percent, okay. No, you said five or 10% is for me, you said. Percent, ah, is, is the percent for me. How much, how much percentage, how much is for you? I, I'm sorry, Miguel, I don't understand. You were telling me that you have a budget. And that budget, okay. you use a percentage for the house, for family, and for pleasure. Yes. yes. I okay. have a budget. Okay, so do you consider yourself conservative? Um, teacher, I, I have an, an, another form to, to answer. For example, 
uh, shut up when you don't care about something. Okay. Could be to be conservative. Okay, good. But you know what? Shut up is really not the correct form. Be, sería be quiet. Okay. Is somebody very shy? Okay, so you're you, okay. So you're a conservative person. Okay, good. That's good. Remember, conservative is like um. I think I in El Salvador we are very conservative people. You know, we conserve past past customs. Traditions. Yes, traditions, religion, everything is very conservative. You know, like a family reunion, siempre donde la abuela, you know, um, sopa de pata domingos, no. Women okay. of the past were more conservative. Yes. You know, I think, I think the conservative part in El Salvador is disappearing a little. Because my, my parents compared to the parents today are very different. My parents were very conservative. And parents today, I'm saying parents today, 20, 30, 40s, they're very different, tattooed yeah. and more open mind, maybe. My mother was very conservative. My father was very conservative. <laughs> okay. Let's do a verb. Milton, what is something difficult for you to accept? Mm. I think accept for me difficult. Um, it's a good question, teacher. <laughs> You don't have to give me like a like a like a long explanation, but you or you can give me something simple. Like for me, it's difficult to accept when Barcelona loses. Oh, okay, okay, yes. Uh, is um, is for me? I think it, the the people lie. But but my question is, what is difficult for you to accept? Because if possible, I'm conservative. Okay, but listen, but what is the answer? My question is, what is something difficult for you to accept? What is? I, I suppose teacher is, is in the form uh, that the I I think I think sometimes is is very easy, I said, but in another time is it difficult and I, I don't know, but uh, it's a problem. Okay, for me. so so for you it's difficult to accept sometimes the way you think. Yes. Okay. All right, good, good. Okay, Marielos, what about you? What is, uh, let me see, let me give you. Unconventional, I want to see what you can say with unconventional. Unconventional. Unconventional? Yes. Let's all see each other. I, I don't know, teacher. What is something unconventional? Something um, different to the other things or other people. I don't know. Listen, unconventional. Something out of the ordinary. Something different from the ordinary. Mm 
So something strange. I do apologize, but I understand. And, and lastimosamente, the examples from the platform today, they were very, they weren't very, I don't know. They weren't very interesting. <laughs> but, but so unconventional, what is something unconventional? Teacher, one, one example uh, could be is uh, the President Bukele is unconventional that the another president is, is good? I don't know because what, what, what are you trying to say? Oh yes, I understand. Yeah. He, he's very yeah. unconventional. Compared to the ex presidents, yes, yes, it's good. Okay. Yes, I, 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 yes, I understand what you're trying to say. Okay. Uh, yeah, what, what is what makes Bukele different from other presidents? He's very unconventional. <laughs> hmm. So, like, he does things different, differently. Maybe better, maybe worse, but he definitely does them differently. And sometimes it's hard for people to accept. <laughs> like, let me give you an example of unconventional. Fixed marriage. Do you understand what is fixed marriage? If you go to yeah. India, for example, yeah. Marielos, yeah. Did, did you choose yeah. your husband? Or your parents did? No. <laughs> I just. <laughs> 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 but you know what, Marielos? Let me tell you one story. My mother, yeah. my mother, we had a house in, um, by Suchitoto. And there was okay. a, there was a lady. She used to help us. She was the maid. Oh, yeah. Yes, like a casamentera. Yeah. Yeah, era la sirvienta. She was a maid, but she was very, <laughs> very <laughs> ethnic. <laughs> era bien, bien, bien. She and was unconventional. No, you know, one day it was, I love her. Se llama Candelaria. I don't know what happened to her. I wish I can see her one day because I really remember her. She was a very beautiful person. When we met her, when we met her, she had no shoes. But not because, well, she was very poor, but her style of life is no shoes. So it was very yes. difficult for her to use shoes. It was something unconventional for her. Oh, okay. And um, mi mamá se la quería llevar a Estados Unidos. And, and you know what happened? One day, her mother came. Her mother came to our house. And the mother says, Candelaria, you will get married in two months. I have a husband for you. Wow. Yes, and we're what? Who? What? <laughs> Who? And, but you know. Like so, the royals, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that was something very unconventional for me. And I, I never thought in my life I was going to see that. Um, yes. So can you imagine that the mother came and she fixed her marriage? Her husband was this very, very old man who was an alcoholic. And he had a little house. So the last years of this man suffered, he, he was very sick. And I don't know, she saw, uh, it was this big, but I understand the mother, it was her obligation. She thought she was doing the correct thing, but that's a very unconventional way of thinking today. Unconventional marriage. Okay. Yes, that's something, yeah. Unconventional is something different. Something different. Could like, be, uh, teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, could be, for example, 
um, Miguel Angel, Miguel Angel Ramirez, doesn't have TV in, in his house. This is a convention. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, that's very good. Yeah, Miguel Angel, he has a very unconventional rule in his house. Yeah. And what is that yes. rule? No, that doesn't necessarily say it's good or, or bad. I mean, it's just something mm -hmm. unconventional, yes. in, unconventional in our society. And that's that he has no TV. And everybody says, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have TV. Okay, good. That That's a very, that's an unconventional rule. ¿Qué sería? Ley, eh, regla? Yes, rule. 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 Or choice. Yeah. So that is that is unconventional, something different. So like in India, in India, that tradition is still exists that the parents choose who they marry. For example, Sara, you Sara, are you married? Yes, I'm married. Did you choose your husband or your parents did? No, I choose okay. I choose my husband. Okay, good. That is the normal or the formal way. But imagine if your mother says, no, you're going to marry him. That's the unconventional way. So that's the other way or the different way, the not normal way. Yes. Well, um, yes, it's a form, the convention is a for it's a conventional form. Okay. Because in in our country is more different to another countries. Because a woman choose her her husband. And the husband chooses her wife, his wife too. David Rivas, what is one unconventional way to eat pupusas? When you use a fork. Very good. So imagine one day, imagine I am from Mexico and I tell you, David, is it okay if I eat pupusas with fork? No, oh, it's unconventional. Okay, but you say, eh, it's okay. <laughs> you can, but it's a very no. unconventional way of doing it. Oh, really? Why? Because you should, you should eat them with your fingers. But you know, remember, but remember, unconventional means it's a different way of doing it. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's not correct. Yes. Okay. So that, that was a good example. Imagine I am a tourist and I say, hey, how is it okay if I eat pupusas with my with fork? And you say, uh, yes, I mean it's no problem, but it's a very unconventional way of doing it. Teacher. Unconventional yes, is uh, when I put uh, ten, 10 spoons of sugar in my coffee. No, that's crazy. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. Maybe not because normally the typical Salvadorian, we drink coffee with or without sugar. A lot of sugar, but but let's say who drinks coffee with with hot chocolate? That's very unconventional because it's possible. Si sería un mocachino. It would be a typical mocachino. Or or, or drink coffee cold. Listen to this. I have a friend. Coffee. Yeah. I have a friend. He's from he's from Holland. He drinks beer warm. Wow. Warm. <laughs> yeah, he goes like if imagine there's a beer here, like from a normal, it's not cold. He drinks it like that. And I say, why? He says, because in Holland. In many bars, every bar, they make their own beer. Like, if you go to this bar, they make their own beer. And because it's freshly made, it's always warm, the majority of times. 
se, se acostumbran just to drink it warm. And because Holland is very cold, so, but in El Salvador it's hot. <laughs> Uh, and I tell them that's a very unconventional way to drink beer because in El Salvador, we drink beer cold, colder, better. Okay, it's like coffee, beer. hot, hotter, better. Soup, hotter, better. Like a pupusa, I tell people that pupusas, the more imperfect the pupusa is, is better. <laughs> That's one thing I love about pupusas because they, if they are perfect, maybe they're not good. <laughs> you want to see the cheese outside dripping, like, ah, oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, so, okay, class, uh, thank you very much. We'll continue a little bit more tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, tomorrow, this is, teacher. listen, yeah. tomorrow we're going to have more conversations, but what I want, I want everybody just to say basic things when we speak, when we, you know, because I understand that we want to say more, but when we want to speak more, we think of too many things, like too many words, so you stay quiet. Mm -hmm. So let's keep it simple. Remember, kiss, keep it simple. Kiss, kiss. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Have a wonderful okay. night. Okay. Oisi, good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.